pass. Low blocks, Doolittle back out to Dixon right wing. Taylor pops out top of the key. Baseline cut, Doolittle lays in, and she beat Grant. Iowa draws first blood. Playing a little catch right wing with Logic. They'll reverse it near side, now Disterhoff. High block special on the floor, drives in around the world once, twice, and she gets the friendly roll. Fresh 30, though, for the Hawks. The lob pass comes into Disterhoff. They'll kick it out far side. Taylor open for three, buries it. 26-15, Iowa up by 11. 5.42 left to go. Logic deflects a ball at the perimeter. She's going to go one-on-one -on -one against Moore. Lays it up and in. Here comes Crawford. Middle of paint. Rejected by Taylor. Swiped up by Peschel. Quick outlet to Taylor. Two-on-one. Dishes off down. Little Disterhoff. Two finishes Great with the right play. hand. Great play. Illinois moving from left to right. And Iowa really picking up the defensive intensity. And guess who? Taylor with a steal at the top of the key. Goes coast to coast and lays it up and in. Far wing. Kostanek drives in, swings it out near side. Dixon for three. Nice. She's feeling it. Her third of the ball game. 58 to 30. Dixon looking down low, bounce pass logic, reversing it far side. Kostanek for three. There it is. Nice. Congratulations to Sam Logic, now Iowa's all time assist leader. In three years, has a whole year remaining. And then you think of the quality of point guards that have went through our program and the person that she's replacing on that record book, Kara Consuegra. I had the opportunity to, to um, coach Kara for one year and she's an outstanding point guard. Went to the WNBA afterwards. Um, boy, when you're talking about surpassing a Kara Consuegra, that's an amazing statistic. I mean, I love it, but it, again, it's all to my coaches and my teammates. Um, I get the ball in my hands a lot in those situations, um, but mostly my teammates, they knock down the shots. When you've had great teams for three years, um, it, it makes it a heck of a lot easier. As nice. a steal by Logic, she's going to go coast to coast, lays it up, contact, count it, and she's fouled. Still in that 2 3 trap. Reynolds for three, got it! Yes. Nice. Catherine Reynolds. Everybody's getting in the mix. Now in the books. They will wrap up the regular season with a convincing 81 to 56 win over Illinois. They get the regular season sweep, and they're going to meet the same Illini team in the first round of the Big Ten tournament on Thursday. Well, we knew going into the game, going out of the floor, that Nebraska had lost. And so we were not going to be the four seed. We were going to be the five seed no matter what. So you worry about a little bit of a letdown with that situation. We talked about we're playing for win 23. We're playing because we love to play. We're playing and look at it as an opportunity. We get to play a whole other game with you guys now that we would have not gotten had we gotten the bye. So try to turn it into a positive. I thought our defensive shifts were very good in our zone. Um, there's always things we can improve on. I think our box outs, we definitely need to improve on that. Uh, we shot the ball well. We took care of the ball. Uh, this is a team that really hangs their hat on forcing turnovers, and we only had 13 turnovers against them, so that was very good. It's been amazing. I didn't even know we had that many wins until Coach Bluter tells us. It's just a, been a fun season and a fun experience, so the fact that we have 23 wins is awesome. Yeah, it's huge. Um, I think it was the most Coach Bluter's had here, and we like giving that to her. I um, want to keep going, though, and you want you want to have a win going into the Big Ten tournament and going into NCAA just to have that momentum, um, have a couple games on a winning streak here, and uh, look to build on it. We have to prepare for it like it's oh, the season's all brand new, it's starting over, it's 0-0, um, but definitely relying on the confidence that we did beat them and looking and making sure that we keep doing the things that worked for us the first two times. I think it's definitely beneficial. I mean, we know what they do and you know they know what we do, but that's how it is every Big Ten game now. You've scouted them the whole year, so um, we're just going to, like I said, look to come in playing aggressively and just hopefully continue the streak that we got going. We just got to prepare for them again, just, you know, we have to be prepared to win four games in four days. We got to start with the first one on Thursday. Uh, obviously, Illinois is a good team. Um, played them close a couple times, so just got to have to be ready on Thursday and do what we can.